there! This is our newest little friend. This is BQ, also known as Dairy Queen. No, Drama Queen. Um, hi, BQ. Uh, she decided to cry all night long. So I'm on zero sleep and not completely here. Uh, she got her first vaccine today. She got to go see the vet in El Monte, which is like an hour, it was an hour and a half drive home, and about five hours at the vet, maybe four. Um, but they squeezed us in with three kitties, and they're always amazing and helpful, and she's like, no, 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 no. And uh, they said she looked pretty good. Um, she came in yesterday with her eyes closed with you know, issues, we got her cleaned up, and other than being a little drama queen, she's a sweetheart, and so she will actually be adoptable probably in about a few weeks once we get her all stabilized and, and nice and set eating food on her own, because as of right now, she's having to be hand-fed. Um, so this is DQ, she looks forward to a home soon. Uh, and she's vaccinated now. She will be fixed when she hits two pounds. Um, yeah, she can't be by you, Goose. You have a cold. Um, so we did this morning, we did subcutaneous fluids on Oscar, otherwise known as Tiny Tim. Uh, we met with someone to help us do a little bit of cleaning around here since I can't do some of the deep cleaning because I'm too busy with these guys. And um, we drove out to El Monte, which is an hour drive away. I took <laughs> seven animals with me because I'm a little crazy. And I had three. I picked up Oscar from his foster. I took DQ here to make sure that she was doing okay because she's doing a lot of crying and I wanted to make sure it wasn't pain or something going on. And then I took um, Morris because Morris has a lovely eye infection and unfortunately when he went to a vet in Orange County, he contracted a ringworm where they opened his eye and looked at the eye infection. So now we're dealing with that. Um, so he got checked out and got some new meds as well uh, to take care of his, his. And he and Chase both took snap tests and both passed their snap tests with flying colors. Yay! Um, and so we took Chase, Popcorn, my service cat, and vanilla to see how they would do in the car and on leashes and we got to walk around and so basically while we we're waiting for the vet I decided to do a little bit of leash training and it went really well and all three of them were very very good boys and then of course Pumpkin the dog had to come along. Um, do you mind taking this one back for me please? Yeah. Okay bye! otherwise the crying will never ever stop. <laughs> um, and let's see, it was about an hour and a half drive home, but they are by far San Gabriel Valley Animal Associates, um, by far the most amazing place, and I can't speak highly enough of them. Uh, and so we got home, what, like seven something? Um, and then I had some wonderful fosters come over and help me with feeding all of our kittens. Um, they picked up Oscar and helped me feed DQ there. And I still have Goose here that needs his his daily meds and his uh, his little nose cleaned up, huh? Oh, the bugs. Uh, he's still not feeling so good. Hey, Charlie. I'm gonna get you all cleaned up. I love you. So, I'm doing my recap of the day a little bit early, it's 9.30, but I still have a lot of kitties to take care of. Still looking for some fosters, if you would like to open your heart to a little buddy to come hang out with, um, or even to adopt. I've got some really amazing kitties, and 
I've been, I have awesome fosters who socialize our kitties really, really well. Um, we have kitties listed on Adopt a Pet, on Rescue Me, and also on Pet Finder. And I'm setting up software right now to shoot out those kitties to 200 different locations. Um, also, we're going to be making some um, posters that I'm going to be sharing with people that follow us to hopefully be able to put those up at any local stores or places that they uh, may work at or um, visit that they know people so we can kind of get these kitties moving so we 